uh, they of course uh, led up to the later salary. Mm. I see. Uh, yeah, it. I guess it depends on the job. Depends yeah. on the position. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. Now you have more free time, so you mm -hmm. can spend more time at home with your family or with your friends. Yeah, and studying English. <laughs> and uh, I decided to go to U.S. to work as a nurse. Oh, nice. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Um, do you know which like city or which part of the U.S. you want to work uh, in? Uh, I don't decided. I don't decide to go to U.S. Uh, just because when I go to the U.S. Mm. Um, uh, mm, there, there are some job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> uh, some, jobs. Located, uh, some jobs. Some uh, jobs. If it's uh, located in Texas, mm -hmm. I'll go there. Ah, I see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if it's in Chicago, I'll yeah. go there. And uh, but no, no, no. I don't like Chicago. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. I just uh, Texas or Seattle or yeah. Arizona. Arizona. Okay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so, do you like <laughs> do you like hot weather? Do you like hot places? Yes. With warm and weather? Sea. Seaside. <laughs> oh yeah, and the seaside. Mm. I think um I think Texas would be a good choice. If yeah. you like warm weather and mm -hmm. the beach and the seaside. Yeah, Texas has both of those things. Yeah. It gets very hot in the summertime. And yeah, they have yeah coasts, a long coastline all the way down to Mexico. Mm. So, yeah, nice. Actually, uh, my girlfriend, she's from Texas. So, oh. she's from Houston. Oh. So, uh, yeah, I've been to Texas maybe three or four times. And, yeah, it's a nice place. It's big. <laughs> so, you need a car. <laughs> That's the first thing you need when you get to Texas is a car like at the airport you can't even you can't even leave the airport without yeah. a car so be prepared um, start saving or take your driving test in korea if you don't have one uh, yes, you will need. i already i'm a driver <laughs> okay good okay that's good you can enjoy texas then <laughs> you can actually leave the airport. <laughs> That's good. Right. Okay. But uh, food is good. People are very friendly. Um, yeah. Yeah, good food, good people, nice weather. Yeah. Good choice. Texas. <laughs> good choice. Mm. Anyway. Um, okay. Um, so today, because in the previous class, um, there were some grammar issues with articles. I sent you some links to some article activities online. And I also added some article exercises that yeah. we can do together. Mm. So on your Google document, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share the screen. Yes. And oh, how do I? Oh, there it is. Okay, here. Yeah. Um, I added a new section. Articles in IELTS Answers. And 
Okay. So we're going to look at the rules of articles. I'm going to show you five rules. Um, can you see rules mm -hmm. one, two, three, four, five? Okay. So the main time, the most common time we use articles is when there is a non-specific, which means any, any one, and it's not important. If it's not important and it's one countable noun, and you can figure out, is it countable? Can I put an S on it? If I can put an S, it's countable, like hours, minutes, shirts, shoes. If I can, then it's a, a shirt, a minute, or an hour. So I can put an article. Uh, the second rule, it's when it's a determiner. A determiner. For example, we say a few, a couple of, a lot of, and a little. Together, uh, the full phrase is a determiner. The full thing. A couple of is a determiner. So, we always say a, 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 a. Okay. Then we can look at the. The, in rule one, it was non-specific, like it's not important. Like, oh, can you give me a, a pen? Do you have a pen? Any pen? It doesn't matter if it's blue or red, just a pen. That's non-specific. Rule three is specific. And it can be specific because it's the second time you mention it. If it's the same one that we said before. So you talked about, um, I work in a hospital. My next question is, where is the hospital? And it's the same hospital you said before. Where's the hospital? So that's when we use that. Uh, rule four, when we mention a specific noun normally associated with a specific person. So, for example, we go to the gym, and that's the gym near me that I have a membership for. It's like the only gym I can go to, or the only gym I often go to. Same thing with, let's go to the cinema. That's the cinema that I always go to, or it's the one closest to my house. I take my kids to the park, and that's the park next to my house. So it's always that one. Um, we also say, like, the economy. If I say the economy, I'm always talking about the country I am in. So right now, I'm in Mexico. So, if I say the economy is crashing, I mean the economy of Mexico, the country I am in. 
if you say the economy, you're talking about Korea because you're in Korea. We do the same thing with the police. If I say the police, I'm not talking about the British police because I'm not in the UK. I'm here, so I talk about the Mexican police. Mm. So the connects, yeah, the like connects a place or a no a, a thing or a noun. It connects it to a place, a mm. close place, or a place you are in right now. Ah, so the local is in the country. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the locals. Yeah, good example. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the locals are very friendly. If I say the locals, I mean in Mexico. Mm -hmm. If you say the locals, I think Korean people, right? Or locals mm -hmm. in, in Seoul, maybe. Or uh, Osan, sorry. Yeah, and so that's another rule for the final rule, superlatives. For example, the best, the easiest, the cheapest, the most amazing steak I ever ate. <laughs> The. So, I know this is a lot of information, so we're going to do a practice activity. I have um, uh, yeah, so I have an example. I have an example answer. This is a part three IELTS answer that I made. And I highlighted the articles. So, can you read A, first of all? Yes. Uh, I think there are quite a few factors involved. First, the company has to provide a good quality service because if customers are satisfied with their products, they might never come back and go to a com compet competitor. Competitor is that. Okay, nice. Um, watch out. Uh, it was unsatisfied. 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 Okay. So, you can see the articles. Can you look at the rules? And tell me, what rule is each answer? Uh -huh. So, a few. Which rule is that? Two. Okay, good. Okay, it's rule two, because we say a few, a couple of, a lot of. Okay. Um, next, the company... Mm, the four? Good. It is rule four. Mm. Um, it's rule four because it's the company... Uh, oh, sorry. No, it's not rule four. It's rule three. <laughs> sorry. Three? It's early. Yeah, sorry. Ah. Because there's a company, a company in the question... And I'm talking about the same company. It is like an imaginary company, but it is the same imaginary company. Yes. Okay. Next was a service. Number one. Nice. Yeah. Number one. Can I, so service 
is it countable? Services. Yes. And then the customers might never come back and go to a competitor. Um, one. Yep. Number one. Number one is the most common one, the most common rule that people use. Okay, nice. Okay, can you read B? Secondly, I, I think good customer service makes a big difference because I would notice that companies that treat to their customers kindly and with respect often keep their customers even when they are unhappy. Mm -hmm. Okay, very nice. So I have one rule, a big difference. What rule is that? One. Number one, yeah. <laughs> Good. So it's the tricky thing to remember is even if you have an adjective between the noun and the article, even if you have an adjective like a big dog, a cute animal, it still needs an article. And that's the biggest challenge. Okay. And can you read C? Uh, last but not least, I think reasonable prices are important because customers don't want to be overcharged or lift off or for something. So I think those are the most important factors in running a successful business. Okay. Um, five. Oh, okay. Yes, very nice. That's correct. It's the most. And one. one. Number one. Good. Okay. Nice job. Well done. So yeah, um, one is the most common reason a lot. And uh, yeah, okay. You're doing very well. Um, I have a question about the vocabulary. Yes. Uh, do you know what I mean by Ripped off. Mm, ripped off is uh, mm, ripped off uh, means overcharging. Mm -hmm. It does. Yeah, overcharging a lot, like maybe two times more expensive or five times more expensive. A good example nowadays is the, the masks. Now everybody needs masks because of the virus. So the price of masks has increased a huge amount. But the product is the same. The materials to make a mask are very cheap and very simple. But the price is now five times higher because masks are difficult to find. So we can say a lot of customers are getting ripped off by um, vendors selling masks because they are selling them at five times the price five times more like normally it's I don't know, a dollar for a mask it's super cheap but nowadays it's it's up to five five dollars for one does that make sense but yeah so that's ripped off and it's a phrasal verb Okay, so 
there are some more exercises on the document. If you want to practice articles a little bit more, um, there are some more I have a question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, last and both list. Say again, sorry? But, uh, last but not least. Last but oh. not least. Ah, last but not least. Yeah. Yes. Um, this phrase means finally. Ah, finally. Mm. Um, the phrase implies that it's finally, but still important. Uh, finally, but still important. Mm. Like, even though it's last, it is just as important as first, and it's just as important as second. It's still important. So last but not least, my final idea. Okay. Yeah, that's a good phrase to know. Mm, okay. okay, so yeah, if you, if you have already finished the exercises on, uh, on those links I sent you before, then you can come here to the Google doc, excuse me, the Google document, and this time try and put the articles in the answer because I took out the answers. I took out the articles. Can you put them back in? Um, I will highlight this as a homework activity. So if you want to, you can try this as a homework, okay? Uh, this question? Um, yeah, you can do number one, number two, you can do just one, or you could do all three if you have the time and the, the energy. You can do as much as you like. Yes. And, yeah. Okay, so that'll be good article practice. Okay. Okay, so uh, we didn't get much time to practice part three yesterday. So let's look at part three together. Um, do you think part three is more difficult than part two? Or is part two the hardest? One, two, three uh, are hard. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's all difficult. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Fair enough. That's why my score is 5.5 uh, <laughs> to 6. <laughs> I see. Okay, fair enough. Okay, thank, thank you for your honesty. I, I respect the honesty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, fine. Um, so, every student's different, but I just wanted to ask. Yes. And in part three, you have to talk about Korea in general, Korean mm -hmm. people, Korean society, uh, Korean life, Korean culture. So, not about yourself, but yeah. about everyone else. And and that's quite hard. I can give you a strategy to help you structure your answers so you can talk about things more confidently and coherently. So I've got three questions. These are all part three questions. And I have three example answers which follow the same sequence. So question one, do you think it's good to work at an airport? Can you read the, the example answer? Yes, because airport staff usually get a lot of perks and discounts in places like uh, restaurants and clothing stores. 
Meaning that working there is probably quite convenient and affordable. Okay, nice. So this is this is a full part three answer. Like it sounds very short, but it is enough to satisfy the examiner. Because you give me an answer. Yes. You explain with because and then you expand and explain a little bit further what does that mean so altogether this creates a good part three answer you also give an example restaurants and clothing stores so yeah it has an answer an explanation an example and then a further explanation so there is a lot in this short answer there's a lot in there so the sequence I follow is answer the question like yes no maybe and then think about other people who like airport staff Okay, what do airport staff do? They get stuff. They get a lot of benefits. Like what? They get perks and discounts in places like restaurants and clothing stores. And then, so what? So why is that good? So why is that good? It's convenient and affordable. Convenient because it's easy and it's, uh, I guess, close to their work and affordable because of the discounts. So I'm going to give you a space to make your answer. Can you answer the same question? Uh, yes, because um, uh, airport employees uh, can get a lot of benefits and discounts uh, in Discount uh, like a plate or accommodation. Mm. Did you say plates? Plates. Uh, plate, plate plates. Tickets? Plates. Oh, oh, flights. Flights. Fli uh, flight. Ah, flights. Uh, flights and mm. accommodations. Being uh, ah. that. Uh, working there is probably quite, uh, quite, um, um, uh, quite um, convenient and Con affordable. <laughs> <laughs> so, mm, yes, good idea. <laughs> Excellent vocabulary. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, quite amazing. Amazing. It's like, wow, amazing. Okay. Um, I could, to be honest, there are not many different words. There are, there are not many synonyms. Uh, working there is probably quite useful. Oh, practical. Uh, practical, mm, practical is more physical, like... Uh, getting results, results mm. at work, like performance, performance results is practical. But uh, I wouldn't use practical here. And uh, affordable, mm, cheap, or there is a cost efficient. Efficient cost efficient means like cheap. Mm, cost efficient. 
Mm. Okay, nice. So, good start. Uh, let's... Uh, okay. So, let's do another one. Why do some people learn foreign languages? Why do people learn foreign languages? And I'm going to follow the same steps. Uh, can you read this answer? I think people learn other languages because they want to improve their job prospects by learning an international language such as English or Chinese, uh, which could help them get, get a better job or a higher salary with an international company. Okay, nice. So, again, same sequence. Um, who is actually people? And we mentioned people before, so they, same people. What do they do? They want to improve. And what, what exactly do they want to improve? Their job prospects. And we give two examples, English and I guess we should say Mandarin. And so what? Mandarin what is, is ah. no. It's the Chi you know there are like two main Chinese languages. Mandarin, most people speak Mandarin, and the other one is Cantonese. Like in Hong Kong, they speak Cantonese, and I think, shh, could be wrong, Shanghai has more Cantonese speakers, or it has its own language. But yeah, there are two languages in, in China, and I think Mandarin is... I can't remember if it's... I can't remember which one's which. <laughs> um, there's, there's two main ones. Yeah. Um, and so, what does that mean? Why is that helpful? It could help them get a better job. Why do they learn? For a higher salary. Okay? Yes. So, same, same process now, Song. Yes. What do you think? Why do some people learn foreign languages? I think people learn other languages because they want to experience uh, other cultures mm -hmm. by traveling. Um, by, by traveling overseas, such as, uh, by traveling overseas, over, um, by traveling overseas, overseas such as, uh, English or Japanese. Mm. So places, like ah, countries. Places, uh, or in England or Japan, which yeah. is, which could allow them get a better which could allow them to have to have um, uh, to have good memories mm -hmm. to have good mem uh, uh, to create uh, good memories, good memories. And to have the chance to study abroad. Okay, right. Um, I would say have. Oh no 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 no. Let's keep yours. Have a chance. Have a chance to, to study, study abroad. Abroad. Okay. Yeah. Maybe later, after they, after they experience it. Maybe it can help them uh, think about studying abroad and can help them choose 
if they want to or or not mm. yeah okay so i think in this answer we said experience other cultures and study abroad is um, it's on a slightly different topic yes. so can i change it mm -hmm. so how can you experience other cultures make friends what is okay yeah that works yeah a chance to make friends a chance to understand mm -hmm. another way of life a way of life like a lifestyle a way of life yeah okay so now i think those ideas are more connected because going on vacation and study abroad can be very different experiences yeah. Yeah. now they are more connected yes. but yeah nice totally agree yeah. experience other cultures make friends yeah and i think if you know the language you can understand the culture more deeply understand the culture more deeply so more in depth is uh, uh, correct um here more more in depth Oh, more in depth. Um, we can't use in depth. I have to use deeply because what am I doing deeply? I'm understanding deeply. And understand is a verb. So I have to use the adverb. So I understand deeply understand deeply like walk slowly walk is a verb so slowly yeah so i need the adverb mm. in depth is just a regular adjective uh. hyung, what is it a hyung yong sa Yes. yes, okay, nice. I remember. <laughs> Was it Myung, Myung Sa? Dong Sa? Is that it? <laughs> yes. yes. Big nice. three is Busa. Ah, yeah, that's it. Busa. Oh, yeah, I remember. Um, yeah, when I was a teacher in Gumi, and when ah. I worked in a Hagwon, yeah, I used to write that and it helped my students a lot yeah. It really helped. yeah okay good i still remember I still got it okay there's one more on the table and it's question three why do some people want to change their jobs okay and i have an example can you read this one I suppose it's mainly because they are unhappy with their workload or maybe their schedule. So they look for another job with better hours and more manageable tasks. <clears throat> okay. So same strategy. Yeah. Uh, who does what? They are unhappy with what? And then I give some examples. Their workload, their schedule. So what? So why do they change jobs? Maybe they look for another job with better hours, which is the schedule, or more manageable tasks, which is the workload that's what workload is how much work 
you have to do. Okay, so final one. Um, why do people change their jobs? <clears throat> uh, I suppose it is to me because uh, uh, they are bored with their uh, with their jobs. So they um, they want to. Um, they want to. Uh, they want to experience uh, um, energetic and exciting job. Hmm. If we also, compare a, a more exciting and stimulating. A stimulating job. Stimulating job. Oh. And also, uh, they they want to earn a lot of money. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm okay. Continue that one. Um, so. So, so they find some. They look for. They look for. Ah, uh, they look for uh, emerging, uh, emerging job, like Ooh. a job in an emerging market. Uh, emerging market in in the internet online uh, online online okay and what's that and why does that give them more money or how do they how do they get more money So they look for a job in an emerging industry which offers more or higher or higher uh, quality of life. Okay. So we we should keep talking about money. We should focus on the money. Which offers a high salary. High salary. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's it. Yeah. So it's simple, but it's in it's the correct it's the best answer because it's connected back to money. Yeah, it's kind of, yeah, it is quite important um, to make sure this, the second part is connected to the third part. If you can connect them, it really improves your score. It's actually 20, it's actually 25%. It's a, a quarter of the speaking score. A quarter of the speaking score is coherence and cohesion. And that means that your sentences are connected to each other. And they follow a logical sequence. So people do this. So it means this. Why do they do that? Because this. How do they do that? Doing this. And why is that important? Because this, it's like building a logical sequence where everything is connected. And it sounds easy, but it's actually quite hard. Earn a lot of money. Mm -hmm. uh, look for a job. 
Oh. Right. They look for a job because they want to earn money. Mm. So they look for a job or the question said change job. Mm. So that's connected. They look for a job in an emerging industry online which offers a high salary. Mm. So high salary and earn a lot of money. That's the connection. Mm. Does that make sense? Yes. So the first they are bored with their jobs is uh, not mm. coherent. It is. That was coherence. Yeah. Um, you did. Yeah. You did it right then. Bored with their jobs. So they want something more exciting. Yeah. That's connected. And stimulating. Stimulating is like mentally. Mentally exciting. Mentally uh, engaging switches on your brain. You are using your brain fully. And that can be very satisfying and very interesting. So yeah, the first one was well connected. The second part, I just had to change the final piece to connect it back to the third point. So if I answer it, uh, just uh, one um, one second uh, one like one answer one idea yes one idea just to uh, answer it mm -hmm. is that is that enough mm. Um, it is enough if it is, if it has all three steps. Mm -hmm. If it has all three steps, then it, it is enough. You gave an answer, you explained, if you can give an example, then that's great. And then you kind of summarized why that's important or what that means. So you only need three steps. Okay. What you can do, like you did in your final answer, you can go one, two, three, and then go back with a new idea and begin the sequence again. So you could say, first, uh, I think they are bored. It's because they're bored with their jobs. So they want to experience something more exciting and then go back also because they want to earn a lot more money. So they look for a new job with a higher salary. Last but not least, maybe they feel stressed because of the workload or their boss. So they will find a job with a lighter workload and maybe better colleagues. Mm. So you can repeat the process once, twice, three times if you have three ideas. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we could, like this, I could combine, I could combine all my answer and your answers, I could combine them into one big answer. Yeah, like this could be one answer. This could be one big part three answer with three different ideas. So then you'd say also, and then last. Do you remember this phrase? Last but not yeah but not least last but not least yeah so 
you can repeat the sequence as many times as you like. Yeah. Okay, so this is a kind of introduction to part three, and okay. uh, I think the main lesson to remember, ooh, sorry, the main lesson to remember is that the final step must be connected to your reason, to your idea in the middle. They must be connected. And if you can do that kind of repeatedly and do it often, you can make good part three answers much more easily. If you can connect these, you will always make a good part three answer because it will be coherence. And coherent is 25%. I think your vocabulary is quite good. Pronunciation is quite good. Um, we just need to practice. Now we have the sequence. We know what to do. We just have to practice with it. And then, yeah, step by step, you'll get better and better. It'll get easier and easier. And then, um, hopefully, you'll be ready to take the test and get a higher band. Yeah, cool. I, yeah I think so. It's just practice. We can do it. Yeah. Um, so um, that's all I have time to, to show you, I guess. But yeah, there's the homework with the articles, yeah. Yeah. if you want to try that. Um, you can also type on this document. So if you want to make some part three answers, if you want to type some answers, mm -hmm. then you can. You can type some answers on the screen. Mm -hmm. And um, I can check them at the beginning of another class, or you can ask me questions. Yeah, anything you like. Cool. Yeah. OK, well, well done today. Very nice. Uh, I think we learned some important steps, and then we can put it into practice tomorrow. I'm going to ask you lots and lots of questions uh, yes. in the next classes, so be ready. <laughs> okay. Yes. okay, well, thank you very much, Son. Um, I hope you have a good night, and I will talk to you soon. Yes, thank you. Okay, all right, take care. Bye-bye.